What's up guys, I've got 53 seconds worth of uh, memory on this camera right now. I am here to update you on uh, my mission to quit marijuana. I'd used marijuana for 16 years uh, chronically and over the last three weeks I've used it chronically to help assist me through the first couple of weeks of withdrawal from alcohol. We've done that, we're three weeks sober from alcohol and today marks six days sober from weed. Last night I had my best sleep I've ever had, uh, slept for about 10 hours, it was absolutely fantastic. The night sweats have subsided, my appetite is back, life is good. I've got five more seconds to go, that's all I needed to say, day six, we are fucking doing this. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for being here, thank you for the support. It's possible. Hang on, now we've gone a minute. How does that work? It's bound to turn off soon. Uh, I'm just gonna roll with it. All right, so yeah, starting work tomorrow. I've been sick for the last week. I haven't had weed to lean on. I haven't had alcohol to lean on. It's been fucking shit, but I'm super stoked, super proud that I've gotten through it. You know, because life ain't easy. Life ain't perfect. Life's going to throw curveballs at you. And this last week has been a fucking massive curveball. But I've gotten through it. We are on the other side. I can, you know, I can feel it. Last couple of days have been hard. I've been crying. Randomly. Thinking about the last 16 years of addiction to, to marijuana. 16 years of, of life that I've just seen pass by in an instant, in a blur. And it's caused me to cry. I've cried fucking, I've cried myself to sleep the last couple of nights. But it's sleep and genuine sleep, not just not sleep that you've just knocked yourself out with weed for. It's it's genuine sleep that that humans need. <laughs> and uh, we are simply not functioning at a hundred percent if we don't get enough sleep. And last night I finally had a good sleep without weed and it's just oh such 